Greetings everyone, DFT at Gideon's, Gideon's Flight. Hey guys, I don't know if you just heard the most recent statement by Twitter about the president. When the, sh when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Now, I just want to ask all of you guys out there a question. Do you really think that the president of the United States should be activating the National Guard against American citizens for looting, for material? for materialism. And if you say yes, then that's fine. But how can you ever open up your mouth to criticize the looters for looting if the president can say, we'll kill you for taking something out of a Target store. And yet if the looters say, you know, you kill one of us, we're gonna burn down everything in the community because we're frustrated. And somehow or another, your logic is the president is right, but the rioters or the looters are wrong. At best case scenario, you're talking about the same, the, you know, the, uh, the two different sides of the same coin, coin. Wrong, wrong. Obviously, my feelings about it is totally different. My, my feeling is that protest without action is nothing. And just standing around yakking and, and, and hollering and screaming and, you know, marching with signs and then going back home doesn't change a damn thing. Never has and never will. But for the president of the, these United States to say that he will kill you for breaking in a Walmart or breaking in a Target or burning down a building with no one in it because he wants to protect Target and Walmart and the rest of them is an indicator just how corrupt this nation is, how money hungry and materialistic this nation has become. And by the way, just for the record, you notice that Target organization hadn't said a word, Kroger, Walmart, Amazon, you know, FedEx, all of these corporations, you notice none of them has said a single word. Yet the president has said, I'll kill anybody who messes with your property. And none of these companies have spoken out against the president and said, no bullshit. We don't want nobody dying behind. We can replace brick and mortar. We can't replace a life. Why? Because they don't value the life of the so-called looters who we know are predominantly what? Hebrew Israelites. And that just goes to show you guys, when you go out and you, you support the Targets and the Walmart in these communities, all you're doing is giving your money to a bunch of, you know, wretched demons who, does, who really do nothing for the community but provide products at high cost that they pay almost no margin on, charge you up to 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 90% markups on, do nothing for the community. When the last time you saw a park built by Walmart? When the last time you saw a community center built by Target? When the last time you saw a, a gym built by, you know, uh, Kroger stores? Like any of these organizations. Taken out of the community, just like these wicked mega churches, and bring nothing back to us. But at the end of the day, this is how they really feel about you. And President Trump is just a damn, all he is is a mascot to push their agenda. So trust me, when you hear him make that comment, you know, the, when the looting starts, when the looting starts, when the looting starts, the shooting will start too. Just thank corporations, thank the owners of those corporations, the families of those corporations, and understand he's speaking on their behalf because you haven't heard a damn word from any of them. Now you're still going to go in there and give them your money? Yeah, most of you will, unfortunately. You need to protest by keeping your money and boycotting any organization that does not speak up against him saying he will murder American citizens for taking something out of a damn, you know, uh, department store. Oh, by the way, that's why George Floyd was killed because he was trying to get something for a fake, using a fake $20 bill. If you think fake money was, was, was worthy of death, there'd be a whole lot of Esau dead out here. Because I see them all the time passing off fake $100 bills, and we spend all day long trying to catch them and trap them. And if you work in retail or any place where you're taking dollar bills, you know you got to check to make sure the thing is authentic. Because of why? And most of them who are passing that money, you know, we don't have counterfeit machines in the, in the hood in the ghettos and the poor place. That stuff is generated and utilized by the so-called rich or wealthy or the middle or upper class. But again, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Well, I tell you what, when they start shooting, guys, remember one thing, shoot back.